Hi guys, Alon Sage from Cos Boutique here and welcome to episode 2 of how to build your own one piece one of a kind guitar using relatively basic tools. Well, the two slabs from episode 1 have to be the same size so I'm cutting them now and after they're relatively the same we can uh, check their resonance and decide which slab of wood is best for us. Let's keep on working. Well, right about now you're probably asking yourself why is this insane guy using a handheld manual plane when he definitely has an electronic one used in episode one? Well, these are much more accurate and I have some sentimental value for these planes because these were used to be owned by my wife's late grandfather who was an amazing, unbelievable carpenter. And I kind of inherited his tools. So it's a lot of sweat, but I still like it. You just saw me sanding these two blocks using the Bosch PSS 2350 watts with a 40 grit sandpaper just for the initial cleanup. Now everything is prepared and now we need to talk about some resonance. Everything vibrates. Some people might say, well, you're building guitars that are electric. So why is resonance important? And many might say that it's not that important. Of course, volume, EQ range and compression usually uh, are produced by pickups. And as you know, we're making pickups. However, the slight mojo of 10% or 5% or even 2% of resonance that will create some richer tone is enough for me because we here at Coils Boutique and especially myself are insane about resonance. So how do we choose? Well these two slabs came from the same trunk and we just cut them in two and they're the same height and the same width and the same thickness and the same weight. So should there be a difference? Well, there is a difference and the differences are quite significant. And using this hammer, I can prove it to you. Well, you can hear the difference and as you can hear this piece of wood has much more sustain and vibrates in lower frequencies. I think I'm going to use this one because of the low frequencies and the nice sustain. Yeah, this sounds drier. I, I wouldn't want to work with this one. Let's use this one. We have a small tradition here at Coils Boutique is that we like to show our appreciation to the piece of wood that has been chosen. So I'll just slide it here so we can remember to smile and love our art. 
We have chosen this piece of wood for several reasons. It's pretty, it's kind of neat and clean, and it definitely sounds good. Much better than the other slab. We'll go with this one. And this is the end of episode two of how to build your one piece, one of a kind guitar using relatively basic tools. In the next episode, we'll show you what is a center line, why is it so important, and how to really get your mojo going when designing a guitar. Subscribe, like, and stay tuned. All the best, guys. <laughs>